Hey, it's Nick Artigo here. I'm going to show you how to use a wall, wall behind me, to intensify the three leg dog yoga position. Really get a nice stretch down the back of the hamstring and the calves, open up your ankle range of motion. Ankle range of motion is key for runners and anyone who's involved in any use of their body in any way. Foot is the platform, the ankle is the joint where mobility can impact everything up the entire chain. So any lack of mobility in the ankle will manifest sometimes in problems in the knees, hips, lower back, shoulders, neck, it can all happen that way. So we're gonna start, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, feet are about a little bit more than a foot distance away from the wall. And I'm going to lift the hips up into downward facing dog. So in this downward facing dog position, my hips are lifted. My heels are sinking toward the floor. I'm going to want my heels about an inch or so away from the wall here. Fingers are spread really wide, grounding into the entire surface of the hands. And then I'm basically pushing my heels down toward the ground. I can bend my knees slightly. The back of my neck is relaxed. So here you want to be looking back toward the space between your knees. If you can do so without straining your neck, you're going to be looking at the navel. But a lot of people have such tightness that you, looking at the navel might strain your neck. So start out with gazing back between the knees. That'll let the back of the neck relax. And let those muscles on the back of the neck maintain their length. So I'm here, hips are going to the sky. I'm going to bring my feet close together so the big toes, my big toes will be touching each other. You can see that. And then my heels might be an inch apart. And from here, I'm going to raise one leg, my right leg up the wall, and reach it as high as I can. And my first goal is to try to get that leg as high as I can and let my heel sink. So I'm inching that leg of the wall. I want to be sure that my hips maintain a parallel position with the floor. So I don't want to be raising my right hip up just to get that foot higher of the wall. I want my hips level. The right hip is pretty well even with the left hip. Once I get the floating leg, my right leg in this position as high as I can, I'm going to start to straighten that right leg all while maintaining the hips in alignment not straightening the right leg and lifting the right hip, but keeping the right hip nice and even and level with the left hip. Always breathing here. Every exhale, allowing my left heel, the foot that's grounded, my left heel, allowing it to sink closer to the floor if it's not already touching the floor. If it's already touching the floor, nice work. But if not, like most of us, we have to work towards getting that heel toward the floor. Other side, it looks the same. I'm going into the downward facing dog, all those alignment cues. I'm starting off with my feet about hips distance apart. Then I'm gonna bring them close together. My big toes will be touching. I'm gonna to start to lift up my left leg and inch my left foot up the wall. Getting as high as I can without lifting the hip. I don't wanna tilt my hips this way. I wanna keep them level. And then once I inch my left foot as far as I can up the wall. Now if I'm only getting it like halfway, I can't really straighten my leg much, then I'm going to work on getting it higher and higher. Once I've gotten it about as high as it'll go without hiking that hip up, keeping the hips level, I'm going to start to straighten that left leg. Still breathing, every exhale letting the right heel, my stance leg, the foot that's grounded, my right heel go toward the ground, letting that right heel release toward the ground, and always breathing. So give that a try. If you got any benefit from this video, do me a favor, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to get instant access to content that's not available on the blog or the regular YouTube channel, then click the link that's connected to this video and you'll have a chance to sign up for the Run Better Now VIP Club. Thank you.